hey guys welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to add a new order to our network so before moving ahead if you are enjoying this video playlist then please like and subscribe to the channel so now before adding an order first we need to get the year certificates the cryptography materials for that particular order so first we will going to register the an identity for that order and then we can create the ordering node so this is the command which is going to register an identity for the order so here we are giving the name of our ca so order is going to get its identity from the order ca and then the, this is the username and then this is the secret after that here we are specifying the type of identity that this is so in fabric we have multiple type of identity like the peer the admin and the order so for order we are going to keep order as the type and then we are going giving the enrollment id and enrollment secret and after that we are giving the msp id so this order belongs to the uh, order msp and after that we want to register this identity in this namespace so let me hit enter so this is similar to what we did for the peers like in the peers as well first we register the identity and then we create the peer nodes so same here goes for the order as well So now since our order is registered now, so the identity for that is created. Now we can create the ordering node. So this is the command which is going to create an ordering node. So kubectl hlf ordering node and then create and here we are specifying the storage class. Then the enrollment ID through which we register this order, then the MSP ID and then we are giving the enrollment password and the capacity for this order. And after that, we are specifying the name that we wish to give to this order. So, so I'm giving the name to this order is odd one hyphen node one and the CA through which it is going to connect and get its identity is this one odd hyphen CA in the namespace fabric. Okay, let me hit enter. So we'll wait for this to create. Uh, so this has been created. Now let's go to the lens ID and see the logs of this. So here, right, it is still in creation phase. So meanwhile, this is creating. Let me clear up the terminal and let's create an admin identity for this order. So let me put up the command and this is going to register an identity with name admin. Uh, for this with this particular CA which is order CA this is the secret and the identity type is admin and these are the enrollment details and uh, under this MSP which is order MSP let me hit enter so now uh, once we just register this identity we can get the you know enrollment certificate for the like the TLS certificate as well as the signing certificate we can get so let me run the command to get the signing certificate first let me clear this first and now we can just run this command which is going to give us the signing certificates for this identity which is admin and how we are specifying that we need only the you know uh, which type of certificate we need whether we need the signing or TLS certificate so here if you see that we are giving this hyphen hyphen CA name flag and then we are specifying the CA which is which is referring to the CA that gives the signing certificates and after that we are specifying the output flag so output we are going to store uh, in this file which is admin order service so in this file we are going to have our output of this let's en hit enter and let's see this as well so meanwhile this going on let me open my vs code here and we have this identity successful let me see this so here we can see that this is the admin you know certificate the signing certificate and now let's quickly get the enroll the tls certificate as well so this is the same uh, exactly same command what we run here but the only difference in this command is this at this part so here uh, we were specifying that we need only the uh, ca certificate the normal signing certificate but this time we are specifying that we need the tls certificates rest of the things are same and the output we are storing in this file which is admin-tls 
ordering service.yml. Let's open the VS code. Let me close. Let's see. Yeah. So here we have that file as well, which contains the TLS certificate for this admin. And now we can move towards the connection profile part for this order. Uh, so basically what we are going to do, we are going to create a kind of a connection profile but that only contains this order because if you wish to specify you know all other uh, msps as well then you know that what is the flag so you can give hyphen o flag and then you can specify the other msps as well but this time i just need the order service like uh, the connection profile that will contain just the order details so let me hit enter let's wait so meanwhile this command is running uh, we can go to the lens id and see the status of our order so here we can see that this is our ordering node and if we go and see the logs of this so yeah this is working fine we don't have any errors here so now let's move the terminal back so this is generated now let me open my vs code and here we should see this ordering service and basically this essentially contains only the details with respect to the ordering node uh, it does not have any uh, peers or any you know uh, any other organization and after that we can add the file uh, which contains the enrollment detail for our admin for this order to this ordering service.yml and we know that the command for that is add user so add user takes in the file that you wish to add and uh, your destination file uh, where you want to merge this identity and then you give the username and the msp as well let me attend and if we go to the vs code here we should be able to see that inside uh, the order msp we have one users section as well which contains the uh, signing certificate for the user so that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, then you already know the drill to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.